ماي نيم از محسن علي الواحدي ماي نيم از سعيد عبد الله البلوشي ماي نيم از محمد هشام الحسيني ماي نيم از حسن احمد الحمادي ماي نيم از فيصل ناصر الجسمي 50 years ago a nation of arabian tribesmen were born into shifting sands surrounded by stern mountain peaks and flanked by the shores of the salty Arabian Gulf. While many considered the terrain inhospitable, the land barren and the water undrinkable, the Bedouin turned these adversities into strength. From the depths of the ocean, the Emirati tribesmen discovered sustenance. From the oasis, they found replenishment. And from salt water and sand, they brought to the surface jewels of delight and wonder. Under the patronage of visionaries, today the Bedouins of Rub al Khali have transformed their adversity into fortune. A united federation, the UAE has bred statesmen and business leaders, and together they have laid the foundations for a bright and prosperous future. Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman, Um al Kuwain, Ras al Khaima, and Fujairah are the seven pearls of the United Arab Emirates. As you can see, this one we call it Arish. It is uh, built from, uh, you know, the bulb. We used to cut it and by piece, piece by piece and connect it together. Then it takes around 30 or 40 days to make one room only. It is uh, unsafe for the raining. You know, the water is coming inside. But, you know, before they cannot do more than this one. Uh, if we go inside, we will find this one. We call it fanar. We use it uh, in the room to make it uh, to, for, to, for the lighting. The other thing, a bridge. This one, we call it a bridge. We save the water in it. You know, the old, the, the, there was no uh, refrigerator. Only that one, we can save the water in it. This one, the bit, old bit. Uh, this one, uh, not, not only for sleeping, also people can sit in it. Can sit in it and uh, here, uh, only for uh, sitting of any guest camp. Uh, this is, uh, we call it Mandus. It is uh, like a cabinet. Uh, before, they keep it for storing uh, their clothes and their accessories and their uh, shoes. And it is uh, some some uh, some of them. It was uh, small. Uh, they kept it for gold. This one we call it gargoyle. They use it to catch fish in it. You have to throw it in the sea and put some bread in it. Then the fish. There is uh, one entry place. The fish will go inside and it cannot go outside. It is made from uh, before they was uh, use this one and make it by wood. But now, even uh, or before they, they use the metal to to make it. So this one call it gargoyle for fishing. Oh, water is the important thing in life. Um, so our grandfathers uh, dig the what we call the beer um, to get water. Um, it's they dig I think 20 feet uh, long. Our culture is unique because we have tradition and custom in both desert and sea. Uh, before our grandparents, they uh, used uh, to live by uh, diving for bear and uh, for uh, sell uh, sheep. Uh, and, and on some uh, wells, they uh, sell uh, vegetables and uh, other things uh, from farm. The two aspects that still uh, exist is uh, camera racing and boat racing. That's a racing boat. The boat is 80 feet long. 
It employs 17 oarsmen on this side. It employs 17 on the other side. With the helmsman on the end of the boat, maneuvering the boat, and the captain giving orders to row fast. Uh, these races are held on a monthly or a bi-monthly basis in Jumeirah. It can be witnessed and it's very, very interesting to see who's the winner. Hey, what's your name? Otto. And you? Adri. Okay, so where are you from? We come from uh, the Netherlands. Netherlands? Yeah. Okay. And my daughter, my daughter is here. Oh, okay. We have starting with this hotel, St. Regius. He okay. started up the hotel. Can you give me something uh, famous in your culture? In Netherlands? Famous in uh, our country? Yeah. It's uh, Garsini. Okay. In Gars. Yeah. yeah. My friend is here in Abu Dhabi. Make uh, radio stations for the cars. Okay. Another uh, thermos? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, okay. Yeah. What do you do? <laughs> yeah. What? I do? Yeah. Erend. Oh, okay. I uh, I now uh, 65. Oh, okay. Okay, what's your name? My name is Nigel. Oh, nice to meet you. Where are you from? From Cambridge in the UK. Nice. Can you give me some, some something uh, famous in your culture? Uh, Cambridge University. Oh, okay. Tell me about it. Uh, it's world name for one of the best universities in the world. Uh, there's a lot of lot of mixed cultures within Cambridge itself, um, and we actually love the area. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Daria. This is Barbara, and here. And uh, I'm he's Josef. Josef. And we are from Croatia. Yeah. And we came here uh, to see your culture. I'm here on my business trip. Uh, okay. I'm a professor of petroleum engineering. And this is a country that relies on a lot of petroleum. Yeah, of course. Okay. What and do you think about our culture? Uh, your culture, we are here just for one day. Yeah. And we are here now visiting this village. And it's uh, wonderful because it's a uh, it's great project to um, to introduce us your culture because we don't know how how did you live uh, earlier before, yeah. yeah before so it's very nice and uh, we love to take photos and we we'll, uh, she loved uh, camels and uh, we enjoyed uh, coffee Arab Arabic coffee Arabic, with yeah. uh, with friends and you are very hospital uh, very ho Hospitality, Hospitality yeah, yeah. yes, and it's okay. very interesting. What's the difference between our culture and your culture? Oh, uh, we are comes, not so, so, no, when so, it comes to guests, uh, we're not so so. Um, we like to have guests, but uh, guests which we know very well. Uh, so we are uh, at home, we are um, invite people to come to our home, but yeah. only people that we are very, very good, uh, familiar with. Yeah. Uh, but not so uh, here, people invite us to come to, to sit with them and to talk. In Croatia, it's uh, not, uh, not uh, such a problem. Okay. And on Souk, uh, people just wanted to, to speak with us, to, to sell us something and to, to have some interaction yeah. and in Croatia it's not it's, so, it's no. totally price it's price yeah. uh, we want to know about uh, yourself so what's your name my name is Carsten yeah. Yeah. yeah it's Carsten it's okay what, what about you from where are you from we are from Germany okay. Deutschland uh, what do you think about uh, the UAE for us it's the first time in the second, second day, day. <laughs> we arrived yesterday in the evening, so it's our first time in Dubai. Yeah. Um, it's there are a lot of um, impressions, and it's a, a very, very big, beautiful, very modern city yeah. for us. You see, it's um, yeah, and all the the infrastructure. You see the, the extremely big, wide size roads and the parking areas and. The buildings, um, I think, they grew, grow in the last 20 years. 20 years, and it's that's very. But as you can see, like before, it was only sun. Yeah. So this place is like for to show you how we used to live before. Yeah. So what do you think, like the old living and the now living? I think it's a bit changing. I'm not very sure, but I think the, the main industry in the early parts of this region is um, diving for pearls. Yeah, pearls. Yeah, pearls. And um, the oil 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60s, 70s? Yeah. Okay, okay so that's the main change? Yeah, it's a big change actually. Okay, now we want to know like, a bit about your culture and our culture and what's the difference. It's not that rapidly developing. <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, Germany is uh, not the old as the cultures in the Arabian regions. Yeah. You see, we grow, I think, 600 about uh, 1200 years before it's starting after the Roman Empire yeah. is in Central Europe yeah. then the German nation very slowly is rising yeah. I think begin really so the Holy Roman Empire is 1000 okay, years what, what about before. when it comes to hospitality like when you have guests like out here we get them into our houses we have like special places to sit in mm -hmm. uh, we give them special types of food what about you when you have like new guests in your house, what do you show them like to show them uh, your culture? Yeah, I think it depends if it's um, a guest from another nation yeah. or if it's uh, a guest, uh, a friend or part of a family living away. Yeah. So um, I think if it's um, a friend or an, a known person, I think, I think the food or the the kind of um, surrounding is depends on what the friend is liking. Yeah. Not so if it's very typical for German. I think when uh, people from another country or from another culture in extreme part in the region, I think it will be more a little bit traditional. Yeah. But also depends on what what kind of food he likes. As you see in, in, in the Central Europe, we eat more pigs, I think, like this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I will never um, make a meal yeah, with pigs for, when, when yeah, you're for an Arab person. Yes. And, and so I think that's the difference. I think it will be. This region is very, very traditional with an old, very old, long existing long culture. Terms, yeah. And that's, as, as I think, it's at the point I think, it's that's the kind of um, how you um, welcome your guests and to make food and things like this. Yeah. this. I think we in Central Germany we have a tradition like this. Okay, so thank you for your time. Yes, and, uh, this is a special oh, souvenir for you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. It's a Bedouin mosque, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they call it Burga. Okay. They usually put it like between the eyes and the nose. Okay. Thank, okay. You Thank, you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. important thing uh, to promote our Emirati culture uh, that to add the subject uh, in the school. Also to teach our uh, children about UAE history. Tourism affects our culture uh, in both uh, positive and negative ways. Um, but at the same time, um, they promote our culture by visiting historical places, which uh, gives life in these places. There are a lot of nationalities in our country that are from all over the world. Uh, they uh, try really hard to uh, adapt with uh, our uh, society. But at the same time, we do our best to uh, learn about their uh, customs and cultures.